Hello and welcome to Game Style Early Access. Uh, why Early Access? Because we don't know what we're going to call this yet. <coughs> Very much influenced by the likes of the Inquisition, the Final Bosman, web shows like that because it's great. Um, we love watching them, they're small segments, but we'll do our own. Um, if you've got any ideas for what to call us, then Drop us a drop us a shout on our Twitter page, which when we've worked out gone beyond the early access point, it will be down there. But at the moment, you can find it at Game Style. I'm your host uh, Bradley, and you can find me on Twitter again. It will be down there at Bradigal. Um, why are we doing this? Purely because we have stuff to say. This week we have stuff to say. Um, Ironically, this should have come out last week, but we had a delay, uh, which fits perfectly because that is exactly what we wish to talk about today. We've noticed a trend over the past few months on PSN mainly, um, and I dare say this is something that's happening on Nintendo's eShop and most likely on Xbox Live as well. Uh, but there are games that are getting released in the States and just aren't coming out here at all if, or just not on time. Um, one such example is a game that came out a few months ago called 1001 Spikes, which is by Nicholas. And just cue, hold your laughter there. Um, because it is Nicholas, they've got a reputation, you can kind of accept that, shouldn't be the case, but it's delayed. Um, but the Halloween week is the one that sort of really showed how bad either certification issues are or licensing issues are when it comes to video games. Um, in the US, via Sony Computer Entertainment America, they got Costume Quest 2. And they got Home, which is another indie horror game. They got Kill All Zombies. And they got Poltergeist, a pixelated horror. Horror games around Halloween, it's great. That's when they should be. Europe, well, they'll either hit a snag going through uh, SCEE and their certification process, or they're just not coming at all. And that is unacceptable. Um, there are ways around it. You can go and set up a US account, download them to your PS4. Great, that's not bad. You can do that as a workaround. However, some of these are Vita titles. Here, I've got a Vita. I've got an EU account on my Vita. I can't put a US account on it. I'd need to buy another Vita. Another overly charged, uh, another overcharged memory card to fit into it. And then, you know, quite possibly a PS Plus account, depending on what's different there. The regular gamer isn't going to go and spend that, mo that money. They're not going to go and do that at all. Um, and it's the reason we all want secondary accounts on the Vita. The reason we all go and look for workarounds is because of these ridiculous licensing laws or, or just release schedules or certification processes. Um, it's not just happening at Halloween. There's the rather excellent Escape Goat 2 came out a few weeks ago in the States. We are still waiting for it here in Europe. Not on. Just not on at all. It's a fantastic game. Absolutely fantastic. And there should be no reason for that to be delayed. Why that's out in the States and isn't out in Europe is going to be down to one of two things. Licensing or certification. Why? Why in the digital age? We want us people what the the companies want us to go digital. Are we gonna go digital completely if we get these issues? Fine, these are indie games at the moment, but what if down the line this happens to a Far Cry, to a Grand Theft Auto, to an Assassin's Creed maybe people won't mind about Assassin's Creed. But if it happens to those big games down the line where the states go back to getting it weeks before us, or Japan get it weeks before us. Now, Japan, you can understand a little bit because of localization, but there's a game out in the States called Puyo Puyo Tetris. 
fantastic puzzle game. Nixie's P.O. Pop Protectress. And I want it. I know many people that want it. We can't have it. Um, why digital stores aren't just centralised and give us the choice? You know, I, I'm happy to go past the, the Japanese text. Um, I know people who can understand Japanese. There should, shouldn't be them hurdles. Um, especially if Sony promised no hurdles, just games. We're not getting them. Um, there's a Rim Run Circus. Came out last week in, in on the US store. No sign of it in Europe. Might come this week. Don't know. We might, you know, might get surprised by... <sighs> By what? We might get surprised on what fair to the one spikes so I wouldn't hold your hopes up because it's Nicholas and wouldn't surprise me if they was the reason that we never got full, full confirmation on PlayStation Plus titles until nigh on the day of release last year, last month, because they handled Brian and of Isaac. Um, it's not just us, it's not just Europe, it goes the other way. Nano Assault Neo X came out in Europe one, two weeks late before it came out in the States. Um, and then there's just the complete screw-ups as well. Don't Die Mr. Robot was announced for one week. Everyone was... Ex well, everyone. I'm not going to say everyone because it, it's a niche title, but many of us were expecting it. They got great reviews. It didn't get released when it was said, and then got slid in under the radar a little bit, and no promotion. And that's a game that deserves a lot of attention, a lot of attention. Um, never got it. I dare say that has affected sales somewhat, and, you know, what's going to happen moving forward? Um, it, it's just a list, you know, 10 games that I can look at now that aren't out in Europe or have been delayed in Europe. Um, and I dare say if I go back, there's plenty more. Um, Giant Bomb recently done a unprofessional friday where they played the you don't know jack box set we don't get that in europe um purely because you know it's a brand that's well known in the states but it's not here why why is it not here why has we not got a worldwide digital store yet where we can go in and we can get what we want um licensing laws need to be looked at certification needs to be centralized so if it has to be delayed because of an issue it's delayed everywhere it's delayed in europe in the states in japan it's put back everywhere not oh you can have it and then you guys have got to wait can't work like that um now i was hoping this early access as we're calling it for now was going to be a bit more upbeat but yeah i got pissed off um a list of games that I really, really want to play. I can't play. I'm annoyed, so it's a bit of an early ramp. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, hopefully we'll come back, and as, as we get new technology and we understand what we're doing here a bit more, we'll have little, below there, we'll have little Twitter links and facebook addresses and what have you um we'll overcut this because you don't want to see this we'll overcut this with images of games um but yeah it's early access so yeah enjoy the bugs and we'll be back next week barring a delay take care